So what we're going to cook today is going to be some fantastic pheasant ravioli. <coughs> As you know, I come from northern Italy, so pheasants are plentiful and, uh, and beautiful. This is a pheasant and uh, it's a, a female that has been sort of shot here in England. And uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to take it apart as we're going to take the legs off. Okay. We're going to go take the legs off completely. Right, one. And a two. So we're going to take the actually breast off. Wishing bone is there. Which as you can see has been cut. I'm not too neat on taking off the meat because what I'm going to do is then the, the bones and the leftover, they're going to be roast and they're going to be part of the sauce. So this is one breast and then uh, we're taking off the other one as well. So as you can see we got the breast in one side here. All right. And we got the carcasses and the two legs. Okay. At this point we're going to Screw the legs like that, and the tights, we're going to get it out, and we're going to cut just the tights off, so the tights is good as well, okay, and uh, we leave these for the stock, and, uh, so nothing gets wasted, never, remember, one of the things about Italian cuisine is that nothing gets wasted, they're not fancy like the French, they put a lot of stuff in the bin, the Italian always keep everything, and this is also it makes you a very green choice, you know, it's no point to, if everybody has to eat filet steak, that's a disaster, you know, how many animals we need to kill every year and I mean, how much, how much is we need to use these planets in order to produce food, the idea to use the old animals, so using from, like uh, Fergus Henderson said, from the nose to the tail, that's what we have to eat, the old things, you know. As you see, we got the, the tights, which haven't got any bone and we're going to cut them in half, and then uh, we got some... Uh, the breast we're going to cut in three, one, two, three. So we got like all perfectly shaped, you know, pieces of, of the animals. This is a pancetta, which is the pork belly. And uh, com it is, uh, the difference is then uh, uh, this has been uh, uh, peppered and salted and cured for about like 16 months. Beautiful marbling, look at the lards, you know. And when the people talks about fat and lards. I mean, those two words have been associated in the last few years to something disgusting. Fat and lards are good things. So where has this been cured for the past 16 months? That is, that, these come from our, uh, from our selection of, of cured meat, then come from Toscany. We're going to cut the little bits of, of pancetta. The other ingredients, and is very important for us, is the banana shallots. Now we're going to cut that in half and then uh, into pieces we're going to cut that by the length and by the length again we're going to turn it this way and we're going to cut that down like that last but not least the ingredient rosemary it's a fantastic flavor especially with games okay and these we're just uh, going to take some pieces like that okay so all the ingredients now are here so you got the pancetta Okay, you got the meat, the flesh, and uh, we got the rosemary and the banana shallot. We got them all here and we're going to cook them now. 